This little robot car is running on code that my seven-year-old daughter just wrote. And no, she's not some coding prodigy. She just used a drag and drop app, pressed upload, and the car started moving. That's the magic of Microbit and the cute bot from Elect Freaks. One of the easiest ways to get kids started with coding, electronics, and STEM. Just to keep things transparent, Elect Freaks did send me this cute bot and Microbit controller kit on the condition that I create a video for them. But in the end, the opinions are of my own and I want to be as genuine as I can. If you get to the end of this video and you are thinking of purchasing this kit for yourself, then please use the link in the description of the video as that will be my affiliate link. Now, what is a micro bit controller? The micro bit is a tiny little microcontroller. Think of it as a brain. It's used all around the world in schools and coding workshops to introduce children to electronics. It's simple, affordable, and it's designed to make learning fun. The CuteBot is an add-on car kit made by Elect Freaks. You just slot the micro bit into it and suddenly you've got wheels, motors, LEDs and sensors, basically a little robot you control with your own code. The best thing is there's no soldering, there's no complicated setup, it's just plug and play. So it's super easy to use, especially for children. Elect Freaks is a company that makes educational kits for kids, teachers and anyone interested in STEM. Their whole mission is to make coding and robotics approachable. They don't just make cute bot, they also have sensor kits and a bunch of other micro bit accessories that expand what you can do. I really recommend jumping onto their website and checking it out because there's some really cool things from tiny little cute bot kind of toys to full on robotic helper dogs. So definitely jump on there and have a look. When you open the box, you pretty much get everything already assembled. The body, which has the wheels and LEDs and also a couple of small accessories such as the battery pack. It's really minimal and that's the point. The setup is really fast. Assembly is as simple as putting batteries in the battery pack and then socketing into the main board and then using the backing tape to secure it in place. You then also plug in the ultrasonic sensor to the front pins, not the back. That's the mistake I had and it wasn't working for me, but the front pins is where the ultrasonic sensor connects to. From there, you take your micro bit controller and you put it into the main slot in the top. That's it. No wires, no screwdrivers, no soldering. Within a couple of minutes, you're ready to jump in and start coding. And for many, that's the fun part, the programming. The micro bit works with something called Microsoft Make Code. It's a free website where you drag and drop coding blocks and there's no typing, there's no syntax errors. It's all visual. This makes it great for children because that visual approach is so much better for them to learn the basics of coding. And it also helps me too, because I've always been terrible at coding and it's a really easy way for me to code something. So let's make a simple program. Here, I'm dragging a block that says, on start, move forward. And then I'll add another block that says, turn left. You put these together and you've got a program where the car moves forward and then turns. Once you're happy with your program, you can upload it straight to the micro bit. And you can do this in a couple of ways. If you're on PC, you can just use it and connect to a USB cable and upload it. Or you can do it completely wirelessly. If you have an iPad, you can just do it over Bluetooth, which I think is a great way, again, for children to be able to use an iPad and do the program with touch gestures and then upload it wirelessly to the micro bit and you're done. Either way, it's super quick. This is where it gets a little interesting. I wanted to see how easy it was for my daughter to pick up this programming. Now she's only seven. She hasn't used computers a lot and I had to give her some guidance, but within minutes she was dragging around her own blocks and understanding things and putting something together on her own. She added the go forward block and then a play a tune block and then finally flashed the LEDs. And so with a little guidance, she uploaded it and the cute bot started moving exactly how she programmed and making those sounds and flashing those lights. For kids, that's a huge moment to them. Seeing something in the real world respond to your code is exciting and it makes them want to try more. It makes them want to push their creative and imagination possibilities to see what else can I do with this thing. And that's the real magic of STEM kits like this. They make learning hands-on, rewarding and fun. Now what I've shown you so far, it's just the basics, but the CubeBot can do a lot more. As I mentioned, it has built-in LEDs that you can control. It has line following sensors on the bottom and ports where you can connect more accessories. There's a dedicated extension for the CubeBot in Make Code that allows you to add extra blocks of code, which can really expand upon what you can do with the CubeBot. 
So for example, there is a sheet of paper in the kit that has a track line on it. And through programming, you can make the CubeBot follow the line on the sheet of paper. You could program it so that the ultrasonic sensors can detect obstacles in front of it and make the robot either stop moving and do another action or maybe flash lights when it detects something in front of it. The creation is really there to your imagination. That means kids can start really simple. Move the robot forward, make it turn, make a sound, etc. But then as they get more confident and they learn more about what the blocks do, they can grow into a more advanced coding. And the cute bot isn't the only thing Electrix makes. They've got a whole ecosystem of add-ons like sensor kits and smart home projects and even AI extensions for the micro bit. You can actually connect a visual camera to the micro bit and have it react to what it's looking at through the camera as if it has its own eyes. How cool is that? So if you start with the CubeBot, you're not just buying one toy, you're opening the door to an entire set of projects and experiments that can keep kids learning for years. That's why schools and STEM programs use it, because it works. It's simple enough for beginners, but flexible enough to actually teach problem solving logic and creativity. As a parent, I love that it feels more like play than study. My daughter gets to experiment and make mistakes and then fix them, which is exactly what real coding is all about. So if you'd like to try CuteBot for yourself, I'll leave a link down below. Using this link helps support the channel as I get a small commission and it doesn't cost you any extra. So it's a great way to support the channel. And the CuteBot itself is a great way to bring coding into your own home, whether it's for yourself or for your children. And this is just the beginning for my own micro bit journey. Like I said before, that idea for chasing the cat around, maybe I'll actually get that visual sensor and try it out. So that brings us to the end of the video. I hope you found value in it. If you did, then please consider subscribing to the channel and like the video. And thanks for watching.